Good morning, my name is Toby Anjorin. I am from the Membership Support Department of GS1 Nigeria. And today I am going to be walking us through the process of product listing. That's listing your product and putting all the essential information about your product on our one source portal. Now let's dive in. The first step or the first thing you need to do is go to our website just1ng.org. Once you're there, we navigate next to members login. Now you're going to be logging in with the email address you use to register and then the unique password provided to you by JS1 Nigeria. Kindly note that this password can be changed at any time to anything that you can easily remember. So for example, you can't always remember or for security sakes, you can't always remember or you need to change the password given to you by JS1. It is very possible and you can do that on your one source portal on your dashboard. Now, the first thing you should take note of is your next renewal date, the numbers of jittings allocated, the numbers of jittings utilized, the jitting remaining, the rem remaining image, and then the image used. It is, in, it is very important you take note of all this. So as a new member, you want to list your product. You have never listed your products before and you need to list your product. The first thing you will need to do is to create product data. That's the first place we go to. And in creating product data, you're going to be seeing core attributes, upload image, weight and measure, and other attributes. Now, we're going to be starting with core attributes. It is important to also note that every box with the red asterisk shows that the information in that box is, is very important. And if they are not appropriately filled, you cannot move on to the next stage, which is upload image or weight and measure or other attributes. It is very important that every box with the red asterisk be filled. If not, you will not be allowed to move to the next page or the system is going to absolutely time you out. Okay, let's start. So brand name. Brand name basically is the name of your business, the name of your company, the name of your brand as the case may be. As a stance, the name of my business is Fumi Frozen Fruits and Drinks. So that is what I'm going to be putting in the brand name. But just before I start that, I need to save this on my one source portal so that once I come to list a product, I can just go and click Fumi Frozen Fruits and Drinks. So let's dive right in and add a new brand. Now, the start date will be the date you are actually listing this product and then you make it active and save. So once that is done, you come to brand name and you just start clicking the first letter and it comes up Fumzi Frozen Fruits and Drinks. And that is what you're going to be clicking. Now, because Fumzi Frozen Fruits and Drinks entail different products, it entail different types of drinks, different types of frozen fruits, as the case may be. So the next thing we're moving to is product name. Now, the name of the particular product I am listing under Fumzi Frozen Fruits and Drink is the Healthy Fruits Zobo. Now that is what I'm going to be listing. And because this healthy fruit Zobo comes in two different sizes, it comes in the 75 CL, it also comes in the 35 CL. I am going to be indicating the particular CL that I am listing for right now so that I don't have double or I, I, I don't mistake the first and the second one when generating my barcode. So let's dive right in. Now we're moving next to the packaging style. Now the packaging style for this particular 
product is bottle. This varies for different products and different businesses and different brands. Now yours could be nylon, yours could be a bottle, yours could be a bucket, as the case may be. The packaging type is talks about the type of package you use for your product. So for example, now you are into cakes, you make cakes or you make chin chins or cookies. Your packaging style, for example, might be a box or a nylon as the case may be. But for my own right now, Zoop is a bottle because it's, it's, it's a drink. So I'm using a bottle for my packaging type. Now we move to the label description. Now the label description basically describes the your brand. What is that thing that once people think about Fumsi frozen fruits and drink, what is the thing that comes to their mind? What is the, the, the phrase or the thing that basically comes to your mind once they think about your brand? For my own, it will be healthy fruits. To be fruits and drinks to now the next thing we move on to is the product category. You may be into skin skincare. You may be into food, whatsoever category your product actually falls under. That is what you're going to be putting here. So my falls under no alcoholic shelf stable drinks. So that is what I am going to be searching for in the search bar. Non-alcoholic beverages, variety pack and ready to drink. Now, the marketing information can be anything that you use to sell your brand, anything at all that you use to sell your brand. And I'm going to be putting healthy Zobo to keep you hydrated. Now, the date of activation, like we did in the brand name, will be the day that you're listing this product. Now, as you can see, every space in this box has been filled. So I can conveniently move on to the next stage. All right. So for the product image, you are required to upload the front and also the back of the product now this is how the product is going to be sitting on the shelf the actual product is not the label of the product it is the actual product sitting on the shelf so i'm going to show you an example right away Now, this is what it's supposed to look like. Then we save and next. Once we save and next, the next thing that we're moving on to is the weight and the measurement of your product. That is measurement of your product. How is it measured? Is it in grams, is it in kilograms, is it in centimeters, and so on and so forth. So we're going to pick here and I'm using this. Then the gross weight and the net weight. The net weight slash content includes both the outer and the inside of, of your product. That's the measurement of the product itself, what is inside, and the packaging. That is for the net and the content. 
then the cross width is just the packaging size for your product the net weight and the content is usually lower than the cross weight next up we move on to other attributes of your product now other attributes include the ingredients the allergen information your navdac registration number your storage information your direction of use the lifespan applicable or not so we're going to go right into it now the ingredient for my product is basic zobo leaf Then allergy information, depending on the kind of products that you are creating. If your product has allergy information, then you can apply it in that box. If not, you just put none, as the case may be. Then your NAVDAC registration number. Then the direction of use, which is very, very important, especially for services or for products like drinks or things where that need strict direction. It is important to put the direction of use. Now for the product lifespan, for the product lifespan, if your product doesn't have a lifespan, it is advisable you put not applicable. But if your product has a lifespan, you, you come here and put the number of days. It can be days, it can be weeks, it can be months, it can be years. So mine is four days. I'm going to put in four days here and then I'll come and pick the option days. And as soon as all this information has been provided, you are very much good to publish this product. What this means is that you have provided all this, all the information, all the important information about your product and is ready for you to view. So once we're done with this, we go back to the main page. Once we're done with this, we we'll go back to the main page. And so right now, I want to generate my barcode image. I would go to product data. I'll go to view product data. and then come to the product that I just listed. Once you see this green tick here, it shows that your product has successfully been listed. Every needed information about your product has been provided. So if I come to this place, I can see edit this product. This shows generate barcode image and I'm going to click on it. So this is how your barcode image and your barcode number looks like. This is the final stage. So once this is done, you can as well just download it to your system or any device that you're using to do your product listing and rename the file to the name of the particular product. So for example, I'm going to say Fumzi Healthy Zobo 75 CL so that at the point where you're giving it to your printer, he does not mix it up with another product. Now, this will be the end of your product listing. Thank you so much. And if you have any more inquiries, do well to send us a mail or call us on any of our customer care service line. Thank you.